Well, if you dig deeper into the big pandemic bill and spending package passed late last year, you'll see an unusual demand. Yes, U.S. intelligence agencies have less than six months to tell Congress what they know about unidentified aerial phenomena. Penny Rose Ramos caught up with Maryland's UFO Network for their take on this upcoming report. Mark Gershney remembers his first sighting like it was yesterday. I looked up at the sun and right under the sun was a black UFO. It was the standard saucer shape with a little dome on the top. It happened while he was with his son. He couldn't see it, but I could see it as clearly as the nose on your face. Since then, he's had multiple sightings. I've seen UFOs right here on the corner by my house. I've seen the kind that just seems like a ball of molten metal glowing white plasma ball that just, you know, gently floated overhead and then passed through the trees. My wife and I both saw that. He's now the president of Maryland's chapter of the Mutual UFO Network, also known as MUFON, investigating sightings in the state. Maryland has seen 11 cases already this year. And soon, Mark's belief in UFOs could be corroborated. As part of the COVID-19 relief and spending bill, intelligence agencies have less than six months to tell Congress what they know about UFOs. If it's something of outside, outside this planet, that might actually be better than the fact that we've seen some technological leap on behalf of the Chinese or the Russians or some other adversary. But for Mark, he hopes this report will shed light on what may loom in our universe. I think it's good though for the country and I think it's good for civilization as we evolve to understand what's really going on out there. And now to Elk Grove for at least four months now. Did you hear that? Neighbors have been reporting loud booms at night. Keep in mind, police have made multiple arrests, but another explosion happened today near a church. A flash of light in the sky, followed by a ground-shaking boom. This video was taken in October, one of the first complaints of explosions that have rocked Elk Grove for months. Happens, uh, I mean, uh, like once a month now. Jess Singh, who lives behind the Calvary Christian Center, says it always happens after midnight. On Monday, he heard it again. It is the loudest one like we ever heard. He says it seemed to wake the entire neighborhood. The Elk Grove Police Department says investigators found evidence of the explosion in the area and are working to determine what caused it and who's responsible. The explosion's an ongoing problem keeping the department busy despite numerous arrests. Alrighty, well, Ooh. getting... Alright, let's prepare ourselves for this yeah. mm -hmm. While getting ready for his live shot this morning, our Dylan Kendrick looked up and gasped. Gasped, we say. He saw a string of strange lights zipping across the valley sky. He's not the only one. So what was it? Do we need to like call the men in black or something? Let's bring in Dylan. <laughs> Dylan, what did you see? Oh man, so you know, I'm just gonna start off with saying I'm not the average Joe who starts talking aliens just randomly to get people fired up this morning. No, that's more fun. But let's, let's talk. I mean, I hope we could. <laughs> I hope we can show some of the video, but what we saw, uh, my photographer Luis and I were just talking in between that live shot uh, that we brought to you in the 5 o'clock hour, looked up and just saw at least 20 or 30 uh, lights just kind of coming into a place. So there was a dark sky, nothing, and then these like bright lights just started coming out and uh, just moving uh, about uh, so in a southeasterly direction. Uh, one of the strangest things I've seen, like I said, uh, at this point they're unidentified. UFOs don't associate all the time with aliens, but uh, at this point I, I just, I've never seen anything like it. Folks are reaching out to me on Twitter for my video. Uh, it was spotted out in California, which tells us these aren't airplanes, they're not drones, but uh, wow guys, I mean, you guys can chime in. You've seen the video too. Just let yeah. everyone know at home I'm not crazy. One of nature's most spectacular shows, the eruption of a volcano, has been going on apparently harmlessly on the Italian island of Sicily. Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, has been blowing out smoke and lava. Italy's chief volcano scientist says it's nothing to worry about, but because small stones and ash are being thrown into the air, the nearby airport was closed. Powerful tremor has jolted Japan just weeks from the 10-year anniversary of the Fukushima earthquake disaster. Scientists have described it as an aftershock almost a decade in the making. 
a strong overnight quake as it hit northeastern Japan off the coast of Fukushima. The initial quake was followed by a series of aftershocks. A 7.3 magnitude earthquake rippling across Japan. The shaking so violent, it cut power to a million households. Started fires and set off sprinkler systems flooding this train station. More than a hundred people were injured, most at home as items not bolted down, rattled and fell. The earthquake's epicenter was just 70 kilometres off the Fukushima coastline. The tremors felt in Tokyo and even further south. It hit almost 10 years to the day since the devastating 9.0 magnitude quake. As residents began cleaning up the aftermath, officials are calling on people to remain on the alert for further aftershocks in the coming weeks. West Africa is facing a resurgence of Ebola, the first since the end of a 2016 outbreak which killed more than 11,000 people. Now back then, the epidemic began in Guinea and now that same country has recorded seven new confirmed cases. The new cases are in the Nizirokar region, the same place where Guinea's last epidemic started. For health authorities, it is for now a race against time to trace and isolate contact cases before it's too late. The United States is working closely with several African countries at risk in a new Ebola outbreak happening in Central and West Africa. With COVID concern taking over day-to-day -day life, should we be concerned about another potential pandemic? Don't forget that to contact me for any reason, you can find me on Facebook by searching for Curtis Minister Roach. Minister Curtis Roach. Or our page, The End Time Watchman. Just leave me a message and I'll reply at my earliest. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel and be blessed by the hundreds of videos available to you. Please feel free to share any video to help us spread the good news of Jesus Christ. You can also follow me on Twitter at Roach underscore Curtis. Should the Lord continue to tarry, see you next time. God bless. Is coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Uh -huh.